we're going to discuss now is how the uh, first movements, the introductory, and the introductory in the form of the Wushu or Goetzo, if you speak in Hokkien, each location has their own opening, like Charmin, the uh, Putian, uh, different cities, and also it gets to even in the city, your, their own master has their own opening. So it's identifiable mark in the system. And there's about, there's four or five main versions, and there's a, obviously a whole lot more, but in, in our mind, uh, there's four or five main versions. So we're going to talk about the first part of it. So let me use Master Alexander here. So, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show this part here. So what, if somebody grabs you by the wrist, what you're going to do is you pull away, up and back and straight down, with the hand straight, straight down, like that. Now, you wouldn't want to, he did it the first time by pulling the uh, wrist out. Why would you want to do that? The reason is you take this arm and shoulder away from the rest of the torso. By pulling the hand straight down, you combine it with the rest of the torso and pull the person forward, giving you the chance to either headbutt or punch or whatever you want to do. Now, as soon as he pulls away, I'm going to go to liver 14 strike right here. Trying to hit right here, both of those. He'll come up and block. Now, he is trying to strike me. So he comes down, out, steps out to unbalance me. As he's striking out, coming straight down here, what I do is I punch off the his, and then he turns them out to block mine. So there's a punch and a block in there. And then what I'm doing right now is I'm coming back, going to his throat, or going to liver 14, and what he does is he comes straight up and blocks it. And then I go to his ribs, they're open. Now he's got the first one, so he comes out and punches and I lock down. Now again, I'm coming up and he blocks it. Now I punch over one. See, he blocks it right here like this. And then when I punch down, he uses this part of his arm to block it. Now, when I punch center right here, he comes up, turns the hand up this way and blocks across. Blocking across. So what we've done is we block with this part, this part, and we don't forget that when somebody punches, you can block like this. Block across, absorb, sink, float, and throw out. So that's a very important part. So what you do is you're practicing the, the fundamentals of absorb, sink, float, puke, or throw out, the principles of the five ancestors. Okay, so we'll do it uh, again a little quicker so you can kind of see what, what it looks like. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right you want to, you know, you know that? Is that the part? I've done it. Yeah, you know. Okay. All you got to do is remember this. Look at it. Sorry. It's, it's one, two. Do it again, do, as in you all demonstrating now that he's yeah. got it. Do it and do that again, sir. Ready? Yeah. So, all right, we're just going to briefly talk through why we're doing this. Right. So, so when this is all informal, it's not, you know, I don't want you guys to think that, and, and it's going to be some mistakes on here because we're just doing it to show on YouTube the art of Shaolin Go. So, so, you know, if you have a different version, that's okay. I don't know anybody that paints a tree. If you see a tree, this guy sees a tree. This guy sees the tree, 
and you may paint the leaves, he may paint the trunk different. Everybody sees the tree differently. Some may see the insects on the tree, some might not think that's important. But the importance of it is that everybody sees the tree, right? Not the forest. Okay, thank you.